February 26th, 27th, and 28th, the sun is in Pisces. Can we just stop and acknowledge Pisces is fully here? This is the energy, Pisces, that we slow down a little bit and we wear cool colors and things that match in the moons in Gemini and there's four planets in air, the moon, Mercury, Mars, and Saturn. Wow, there's so much air in the sky. And so I want to tell you a story. This is going to be Elizabeth Taylor's birthday. I find that so interesting. And John Steinbeck. So Elizabeth is a 27th and so is John Steinbeck. The story goes like this. Elizabeth Taylor, just think if you have been brought up in my era, I think for so many of you, that name really has no relevance anymore. And for us, she was the exquisite example of beauty. She had like purple, she was so Pisces, like purple eyes and black hair. And she had a lifestyle that all these marriages and she was like the quintessential being. I actually met her daughter and heard that her daughter and her had a very hard time, no surprise. Because when there's a personality that lives on Pisces land, I had a mom like this, they hardly land their feet here and they forget they have kids. It's a great mom. Moon in Gemini, let's talk about it. We have to tell the story, and I have a class called Tell Me a Story, T-M-A-S dot C-O, where people unpack when there's four planets in air, like there is Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we have to talk. If a baby were born with this combination, Moon in Gemini, Mercury's in air, Mars is in air, Saturn's in air, it's so important in a lifetime to tell your story and be heard and be understood. I think we starve for that. So Mercury's conjunct Saturn, this is very rare, Mercury, the thought process, conjunct Saturn in Aquarius are only four degrees apart. And it tells us that there's a seriousness of the mind, Saturn being serious, Mercury being the mind, someone who is very deliberate about studying, about taking notes, about collecting information. I have this in my chart where I underline the books that I read and I take the notes and I reread them. This is Mercury conjunct Saturn. And so when you've got Pisces Gemini, which are both mutable and there's all this air in the sky, but Saturn is saying, please focus. So I ask you, I challenge you, what happened to the studious part of you? Do you read magazines? Do you read books or do you watch videos? Do you retain information? Is it actually interesting, Moon and Gemini, to share what you remembered? Because those people have the best memories. And Venus is conjunct Jupiter. That's so beautiful. You can see that in the heavens in the morning. Venus is a morning star. Jupiter is the brightest star in the sky. They're holding hands. If a baby were born with this chart with four planets in air and Mercury conjunct Saturn and Jupiter conjunct Venus, I think there's beings and babies being born right now who know what's about to happen on planet Earth and they're coming in very advanced and they have information. And as a young child, be prepared for them to say things that you're like, what did you just say? This happened to me with my son. He had one-liners where I was like, his father was far away and someone said, where's your dad? And he said, he lives in my heart out of a three-year-old's mouth. That's the nature of Saturn conjunct Mercury and this Venus conjunct Jupiter and this Pisces sun with Moon and Gemini talking. There's a part of you that wants to speak the truth. Let's hear it. Astrology Answers wanted me to ask you, is there a part of you that has wisdom? Think about it. Write about it. The moon's in Gemini.